Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to explain to you the misplay that happened in Worlds 2012 because a lot of people ask me what was the misplay because I typed it in in chat later on uh, in the uh, live um, chat box and a lot of people asked what the misplay was and I said I'll upload a video. So this is what the misplay was. I didn't catch it until later on but even if I mentioned it earlier on I don't think that they could have really like it's not like they're seeing the live chat and honestly I don't think it really mattered. The misplay was that Sun Lee actually summoned twice during his turn, uh, he tributed summon for a Dark Fire Dragon, and then he normal summoned a Zephyros. So, I'll show you the match. If you guys want to check out the full video, I'll put a, a link in the description box down below, as well as an annotation for the full match. But uh, this was uh, Sun Lee versus Santee. Um, this is a uh, Chaos Dragon Mirror match. Uh, I'm going to show you it from my computer, because I have the uh, times already set up. So, it is Sun Lee's turn right now, and he's activating Electric Virus, and he's targeting... Uh, uh, Queen Dragon Dejin, that is his, which is a dark monster, and that's the only reason why he's basically doing that. So he takes the uh, Queen Dragon Dejin, and then he tributes summons, and there's his first summon for this turn. He actually gets two summons, just like me, on Dueling Network. I get two summons per turn sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's just a misplay, um, and then uh, he uh, he needs to banish it first, technically. So he banishes Let in the Dark to get out Blackless Soldier, and then... Um, he gets to uh, add the uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal that was uh, banished from Eclipse Wyvern. So he adds that to his hand. And then he's just going to banish Dark Flare. And he's going to uh, special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And he's just checking his graveyard to see what he can get back right now. But uh, he uh, banishes Dark Flare to special summon Red Eyes. And then Red Eyes activates its effect to special summon Gaia. And then he normal summons Zephyros. And we'll just go through that. It takes him a while to think through his play. And I don't blame him. Um, Santee is actually at 3,800 life. The maximum damage Sun Lee can actually deal without the Zephyros is 37, so it's 100 under the amount of uh, that he needs to uh, actually make a game. But again, I don't think Santee could have technically came back from this, even if he top decked Dark Hole. Um, so yeah, there's the Reddish Darkness Metal. Then he uh, gets back uh, Gaia. And then here's the misplay. Um, which is the, he's doing his calculations in his head, so I think it takes him just a second, and then there we go, there's the misplay right there, so he normal summons Zephyros, and then he, he takes a while to think of his play, and then I got this uh, other uh, video opened up right here, which is just the part where he attacks, so we're going to do this live with the calculator, so he just attacked with Black Oath Soldier to Dark Arm Dragon, so we're going to do this live with the calculator, so we're going to put the calculator right here, let's get kind of out of the way. So he dealt 200 damage from attacking Dark Arm, and he gets an additional 500 from attacking the Light Pulsar. Light Pulsar does have a target in the graveyard, which is going to be a Dark Flare Dragon. So he uh, activates effect, and he's going to special summon Dark Flare Dragon in attack mode, because uh, Gaia has piercing and he would take more damage if he doesn't summon attack mode. And then uh, Gaia will attack over the Dark Flare Dragon, and that'll be an additional 200, because Gaia is 26, Dark Flare is 24. And now he can, and now suddenly attacks directly with Red Eyes Darkness Metal for 20, and that is 3,700 damage. And Santi thought that he could attack with Zephyros, but he cannot because he technically summoned that again. So that was a misplay, and technically uh, Santi would have had one more turn, but uh, as you guys can see, it didn't matter really because the only card he could really top deck out of that entire field right there would have been Dark Hole, and Dark Hole. Uh, wouldn't really like help him because uh, then Sun Lee could have just summoned the Zephyros and attacked him for game. So there was a misplay for you guys. So it can happen is what I'm saying. Like even in the highest level of Yu-Gi-Oh, people make mistakes because they're tired. And I know that's not an excuse to make misplays and stuff. I mean, even for the judges that were uh, watching this game, they should have uh, saw this. Uh, I didn't even catch it till like way later on in the game. But even if I caught it, I couldn't have uh, uh, helped Santee over there. And, I, and again, I don't think it really mattered. I, I believe Sun Sun Lee uh, from Malaysia definitely. Uh, had the game regardless of what happened, and I really felt like that was probably the best game that I've seen at the World Championships because most of them were like Chaos Dragons and uh, or, I'm sorry, Insectors. Insectors was the popular deck uh, there, and like it was kind of boring to watch to be honest. No really extremely cool plays. Like that was a pretty cool play. Uh, I mean, he activated a lot of uh, effects and like he had a pretty good sense of what he was doing, it, even though technically it wasn't game. He still uh, played very well, and congrats to Sung Lee for winning there. But there's a misplay, because I did type it in chat, and a lot of you guys were like, what's the misplay? And I'm like, I'll upload a video, that way you can understand exactly what happened and why. It didn't really matter, because I, I was like, there was a misplay, but I don't think it really mattered. But yeah, there was a misplay for you at World Championships 2012. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.